Leaders of a dozen food pantries across Iowa are sounding the alarm about a soaring number of Iowans seeking help at food banks, putting these already stretched organizations into what they are calling a crisis. Those leaders and other advocates released a joint statement describing a rise in food insecurity over the last two years and the, quote, exceedingly high amount of pressure on food pantries. Iowa Hunger Coalition Board Chair Luke Elzinga said the rise began in April 2022 when pandemic-era emergency allotments for SNAP ended. Iowa Republicans' decision to restrict SNAP even further, plus Governor Kim Reynolds' decision to decline federal funding for the summer EBT program, this year haven't helped matters. If this seems bad, it should, and those food pantry leaders said why. Michelle Book, the CEO of the Food Bank of Iowa, said one in six working households cannot cover their basic needs, adding that food prices have increased 25% over the last four years, but wages remain stagnant. Matt Unger, the CEO of the Des Moines Area Religious Council, or DMARC, said one in three people using their food pantry network have previously never done so, a point that Nicole McAlexander of the Southeast Lynn Community Center echoed. Melanie Fierk, executive director of the Lord's Cupboard Pantry in Webster County, said they went from serving 500 people a month before April 20. 2022 to 1,200 people a month this year. These are just a few of the points these leaders stressed in the statement, but they all emphasize the same one. This level of need is impossible to meet and unsustainable for emergency food assistance providers and Iowa families, and the state needs to be treating this like the crisis it is. You can read more about what these leaders said at Iowa Starting Line. Thanks for watching.